Showtime, Mike Showtime Shoop, and standing here with me is Alex Ace. Doc Haywood was supposed to interview you, but he wanted nothing to do with that. He must be afraid of you. I don't know, but Alex, you have to be, have to be without a shadow of a doubt, the clear favorite in this battle royal. The winner faces Bad News Blakesley for the Golden State Championship. Thoughts? That's right, PCW. Alex Ace is back, and I am mad. And what better match for me to take out my frustrations than not against one guy, not against two guys, but an army of 19 guys that I'm gonna throw out of that ring! And then, Blakesley, I got some bad news for you. You may be 6'8", you may be 500 pounds, but I am 7 feet! I am bigger, I am faster, and I am smarter. So tonight, I am taking your title. Stay in your lane. We are not the same. We cannot explain. Things about to change. Cause we run the game. Cause we run the game. Cause we run the game. Mike Showtime Shoop and it is Rumble time! A 20-man battle royal for the number one contendership for the Golden State Heavyweight Championship Shoop. The winner of this Rumble is gonna face the 6'10", 500-pound monster, Bad News Blakesley. And is that, is that a reward or a punishment, Doc? Well, it's got to be considered a punishment. I mean, Bad News is, is a monster. He is the last spectacle in professional wrestling as, as far as I'm concerned. But should a David pull a stone out against this Goliath, they've got that highly prestigious championship as a reward. It, it is for the championship, and you got to think, not one of these competitors are looking at it as a punishment. They want this opportunity. They have an opportunity. Doc, this is going to be one exciting rumble. Well, you can't get gold without slaying a dragon. A lot of man meat coming in the ring. A lot of folks made their debut at the Last Man Standing Rumble last month. I'm seeing Johnny Fuego, the adult dudes who have done a lot of theme songs for us in interviews. But you got to look at the anomaly, the seven-foot Alex Ace as the favorite to win this the one. The clear favorite Alex Ace, who is, I'm sure, no stranger to being ganged up on. And right there, you see, Doc? Yep, you, you, no brainer right there, but holy moly, Alex just threw off 20 other guys, and Johnny Fuego stepping up to the big man. I don't know how smart this is. Take it off the glove. He slaps the giant. Holy moly, oh my golly. Sometimes there's nothing to say. And there, thanks for coming, Fuego. First elimination, Johnny Fuego. And now, this rumble has commenced. You got the resident superhero, Blacklight, taking it to Christian Sky in the corner. Cordero Yaloa fighting with King Cash. We've got the Godfather of Swole in the corner against. Bryson Andrews of Global Security. Holy moly. JMM's in there. JMM not going to be in a good mood. Definitely not. Most wanted. I just saw Must See ET choking out Caden. You got to think most wanted. They're going to work together as long as they can. That's the smart play and none smarter than Christian Sky and Must See ET. There goes, there goes ET trying to eliminate Caden. 
But E.T., he holds on to that bottom rope, saving himself. You're going to have to work harder to eliminate Bussy, E.T., Christian Sky there in the center, taking it to Kate. All kinds of chaos going on. Horny the Clown's in there. Horny the Clown. Makes my nipples hurt just seeing him. Bryson Andrews over the top rope and Oh, hanging on. Looks like Dreamy Drew gonna go out, but no, he's he's held on. The dudes are still oh, in there. No, Dreamy Drew's out. He did not did not get back into that ring. King Cash eliminated, and then RC and not King, I'm sorry, Don Stockton eliminated King Cash and RC. I think Horny the Clown eliminated himself. Possibly. Holy smokes, hard to keep track here. Smokes still filing in here to the gold one center. Oh my God, Alex Ace. Alex Ace got, oh my goodness. That, that young man, uh, <laughs> Ethan Rado, I believe his Ooh. name is. He's just a high school student making his debut here. Welcome and to the business, kid. Welcome to the business. And, and no shame in getting eliminated by Alex Ace. See you next time, kid. <laughs> Must be a primetime university student. I mean, he starts him young. Zach Reed, definitely the best coach in Northern California, if not the nation. Ah, uh, Caden. I was pulling for young Caden. And folks, just a reminder, you're out there watching. You can be a part of the action. Join us at Primetime University. We'll get you trained. We'll get you in the ring. The adult dudes started as fans. A lot of these guys started as fans in the seats. Oh, speaking of fans, King Cash is out. Alex A still in there, standing over. Looks like Lo Devereaux, Sacramento's favorite son. And oh, the Godfather is swole in the anomaly, going at it. And there, we even got a NorCal Hall of Famer in there. And El Flaco Loco. El Flaco Loco getting beat on by Mr. T-Bag, as I like to call him, Angel Escobar. And his partner, G-Baby, getting stepped on by Alex Ace on the other side of the ring. Devereaux has uh, been eliminated. There goes Lo Devereaux, Sacramento's favorite son. And Alex Ace just choking the godfather a swole in the corner with that, what, size 18? God, you got to imagine. Oh, G-Baby just eliminated my CET. Oh, my God. That's... Are you kidding me? And, and Mussy E.T. back in the ring. That's got to be the upset of the match. And he just eliminated G-Baby. Oh, my God. What a poor sport, man. No, you don't cross the tag team oh, champions. Come on. And who do we got left? We've got the killer gorilla, Cordero Yaloa. Wow. The godfather of Swole. NorCal Hall of Famer, El Flaco Loco. And Alex Ace is still in there. I don't, I don't know how that bodes too well for the rest of them. Well, they're going to have to team up like they are now. Cordero throwing those elbows. And they got, they got the giant reeling on that top rope. They need to just dump them out and fight the rest of this man. Oh, my God! El Flaco Loco has been eliminated. Ah. The Hall of Famer out over the top rope. It's up to the the beatdown artist and the Godfather of Swole. And oh, oh does God. not want to be hit by him. Well, I gotta tell you, if, if anyone's got a shot against Ace, it's the Godfather of Swole, it's Don Swole Young. He's more cut than a Japanese death match. The Godfather of Swole is real though on this top rope. He ducks over Alex Ace. He's Pre hung up. Precarious position for the anomaly there. Come on, kid. Oh. oh. Oh my God, look at the strength of Ace there. They're both on this apron. One of them's got to give. Oh, big boot. 
And that's that. Well, folks, we are in for a huge treat because the anomaly, the seven footer Alex Ace, is going to be taking on the 6'10, 500 pound. Bad news, Blake oh, Speaking of which, the champion south at the ring. Holy moly. Can, can this ring take this? These two behemoths, good lord. I hope they reinforced it because holy smokes. When do you see a competitor taller than Bad News Blakesley? Oh, this is going to be one hell of a main event. Folks, you are going to want to stay tuned. Bad News Blakesley versus the anomaly, Alex Ace. The Golden State Heavyweight Championship will be on the line here at the Golden One Center, the Sacramento Taco and Margarita Festival. It's PCW, Road to Extreme Measures. Promotional consideration paid for by the following. Showtime shoot, and tonight with me, pretty little psycho Kimberly Diamond. What's what's wrong? You're not your peppy self. I was told tonight I'd be wrestling in the Golden One Center. Huh. I really, really thought it'd be shinier. It's not very shiny in here. Well, tonight, Kimberly, you take on newcomer. Kelly Page. A new toy. A shiny new toy. This place might not be shiny, but she is! And we're just two weeks away from your title match, yes. shiny, shiny match, against the PCW Women's Champion, the party unicorn, Lainey Luck. And it will be a party. I will throw a party when my shiny comes home to me. When I get to play with Lainey Luck again. I love to play with her, but last time she took my shiny. That wasn't very nice. No. But this time, this time she'll be nicer to me. Right. And I will go home with my shiny. Huh? Yes! You will see! Those I need these. It's going to be shiny for me. Kimberly Diamond, Kelly Page. Back to ringside. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one ball. It has a time limit of 20 minutes. Introducing first, from Lino, Rio, Linda, California. A hometowner, if you will, from Rio, Linda. About 20 minutes north of this gorgeous arena comes Kelly Page. The Irish Rose Kelly Page making her debut on PCW here tonight. And what a night to make a debut on at the Sacramento Golden One Center at the Taco and Margarita Festival. And I've seen Kelly Page get in that ring and do what she does and she is a powerhouse, Doc. 
She is great at what she does, and she's just in, I believe, maybe her first year here. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing her making her debut, seeing what she brings to the table, but uh, I gotta say, I, I feel a little hamper here on commentary today. <laughs> Uh, I might get hurt for some comments. You just might. You better watch your mouth, Doc. I'm going to keep my words soft and sweet because I don't want you to make me eat them later. And the resident pretty little psycho, the first lady of PCW, the breaker of faces, it is the former. PCW Women's Champion, and first, I might add, Kimberly Diamond. That's right, a competitor near and dear to PCW's heart. The crazy one, the pretty little psycho, out on release from the Chico Asylum. And right now, she is the number one contender for the PCW Women's Championship, making a little pit stop here before she takes on the party unicorn, Lady Luck at Extreme Measures, April 15th. Had, she had lost that championship to a few months back. Yeah, surprisingly, by choosing to do fair play. Right, Kimmy right. made a pinky swear that she wasn't gonna cheat. She held to it, and look where it got her. She decided to play fair and square. I, However, I, Still a fan favorite. These people love her. You better watch your appendages because she licks, she bites, she spakes, she chokes. Uh, she does a lot of things. Uh, I gotta worry about her dental hygiene with all the stuff that she licks. I don't think someone's been by to sanitize those ropes since the last match and she was biting on them. Maybe, maybe she avoids COVID that way. I don't I, know. Super I immunity? Once, I once saw her lick a steel cage. Oh, good grief. You know those steel cages, the, yeah. they don't clean them. <laughs> they, 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 they don't, and uh, hopefully she's had all her shots. And there's the bell. Kimberly Diamond extends the hand. But oh. Kelly Page, not sure if she should trust the pretty little psycho, and... Kimberly Diamond already up to her aunt. Oh, she oh. licked her! <laughs> oh, I bet that's salty. Good grief. Kimberly Diamond, man, she's she's an entertaining one. She's a fun one. And there's a headlock trained by PTU's head trainer, Zach Primetime Reeb, at 17 years old. Kimberly Diamond has done a lot in her career. She definitely has wrestled up and down the West Coast, all over the country. Oh, she's oh. licking her again. Got her in a hammerlock and licked her face, but the stronger Kelly Page. I, I, I hope PCW's HR uh, attorney is well informed because I have a feeling we're gonna get a lot of suits because of Miss Diamond here. Oh. They, in, they in, might be sending the bill to that psychiatric ward. In, in fact, Lady Haywood made me sleep on the couch for a month because Kimmy stole my glasses the last time I interviewed him, and, and she licked them. She did. Did, did, you, did you throw those away? I, I never got them back. <laughs> I, just, I just charged it to the new buds, and, and they just owe me more now. Uh, again, I don't think you're getting that money. No. Nope. And a big shot by the Irish Rose. Kelly Page. And she's packing some power. The Celtic glass. Oh, just breaking the back of Kimberly Diamond, drapes over that middle rope, and Kelly Page just putting all her weight on the back of the neck of the pretty little psycho. And Kimmy's got to do something to get in control here. Maybe she... some more licking. <laughs> I don't think she's used to dealing with such power. You know, she's normally the tall, the tallest one in the ring. She's not one of the shorter women in professional wrestling in this area. And Kelly Page, 
She's about the same size as, as Kimmy. She's and more powerful. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Whoa! Big, big suplex. I I I don't think I've ever seen Kimmy be suplex like that. Not like that. Particularly not by a female. Oof. More just stiff shots, forearms to the chest of Kimberly Diamond. Kimberly Diamond, though. With the boot beat down there. A big, big line. Corner liner, patented bulldog. And that'll, that'll just, definitely unpretty her competitors. Kimberly Diamond going for the cover, but the power of Kelly Page just throwing her off. And Kimberly Diamond bringing her to a vertical base. Oh, big shot by Kelly Page. Except for a few flurries of offense, Kelly Page is really just manhandling Kimberly Diamond. Yeah, and she's trying to get this crowd behind her. But Kimberly Diamond moves out of the way. Splash! And the Bulldog! And there she gets it. Kimberly 100%. Diamond looking to seal this win right here. Oh! Just barely got barely. that shoulder up. And Kimberly Diamond has been using that combination since 2010. Quite some time. Oh, Ooh. big, big right hand at Kimberly Diamond's face. And that's really what Kimberly's going to have to lean on is that experience because uh, Kelly Page is just, just powering. Oh, big, big double clothesline by both competitors. And they're down, and Karina Kyle starts the count. Good Lord. Three count. They just... They hit each other and spun all the way down. That, that was like two cars impacting. Like you would you would you would see that on a on a TV show. Oh, and Most wanted hits or something. The girls are just exchanging blows, swinging for the fences, if you will. Oh, she's got she's got her up. Kimmy wiggles out. Oh, the lobotomy! She just hit her with a move. One, two, three. And Kimberly Diamond takes the win. Well, it turns out Kelly Page was just a pit stop for Kimmy on her quest to regain her shiny. Hopefully we'll see her in the women's division again, but extreme measures, it's gonna be Kimberly Diamond against the party unicorn, Lainey Lock. I cannot wait. Kimberly Diamond has not shut up about getting her shiny back. She wants it, she needs it. April 15th, she has her opportunity, Doc. Well, folks, get your tickets now. PCW Extreme Measures, utickmanager.com, or visit us on pcwnorcal.com. Well, Shoop, an amazing match here at the Sacramento Taco and Margarita Festival from the Golden Club Center. And we've got to take a break. We'll bring it back to all the action right after this. time it is it's roundup is that roundup i'll take this easy thing is that roundup yeah why don't you take this twice yeah thank you exactly what are you doing get that pizza box back in the ring Who can resist that melty cheese, tangy tomato sauce, and spicy pepperoni? You're always doing that. I brought the pizza for everybody. Hey, what's up, Roundup? Roundup, 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 Roundup,
Custom Roundup with locations in Marysville, Loma Rica, and Biggs. RC and Dawn get their debut album, Slept On, featuring the hits Funk With Us and O2 Thick. Check them out on iTunes and Spotify. RC and Dawn. I am Mike Showtime Shoop, and I am standing with the Golden State Wrestling Champion himself, Bad yeah. News Blakesley. Blakesley, brother, it is you. You are moments away from main eventing the Golden <sighs> Run Center against a man about your height, Alex Ace. How you feeling, brother? Mike. He may be seven foot tall, but he ain't 500. Oh, I'm sorry. He ain't 500 pounds. Alex Ace, in the main event at the Golden One Convention Center. It's me, and it's you, and it's destiny. I'm big. I win. Bad News Blakesley, Alex Ace, the Golden State Wrestling Championship, back to ringside. Well, Shoop, it's main event time! And what a main event this is gonna be. We've got the anomaly coming out to the ring with seven-footer Alex Ace. And, and Showtime, I refuse Man. Yeah, but, yeah. but I hear you interviewed him, so yeah, let's cut to that right now. Yeah, let's do that. I'm standing here with the winner of the Battle Royal, Alex Ace. Alex, it is now up to you. It's you versus Bad News Blakesley for that Golden State Championship. Shoop, I told you, I told you, I told everybody what was gonna happen tonight, and now, after I take down Bakesley, I'm taking down the entire PCW roster, so everybody out there is on notice. The Seven Foot Anomaly is out to get all of you. Watch out, everyone. Bad news, Blakesley, Alex Ace, back to ringside. Uh, okay, let me, let me just set the record straight. I am not scared of Alex Ace. I am not a competitor. I'm a commentator, and the last time, at the Coliseum, he was there. Alex Ace and Bad News Blakesley held me down so a midget could assault me. It took two seven foot tall monsters to hold little old me down so that this midget could beat me up. Well, no, I don't want anything to do with that. You're a nicer guy, Haywood. No, oh, And yeah. here we got Alex Ace. He was the winner of the Battle Royal to earn this shot, this opportunity for the Golden State Championship, but he has got a mountain to climb. He definitely does have a mountain to climb. Bad News Blakesley on social media said that uh, when he's in PCW, he's climbing the mountain, but when he's here at the Taco Festivals, they have to climb the mountain to come to him because he is the Golden State Heavyweight Champion. Oh man, I hope they read 
course, the ring for this. And look at little Jimmy Two Count okay. in the middle of these two. Is he going to be able to uh, get any control in this match? Is he going to be able to survive this match? One of these men fall on him, he's going to be flattered in those Keebler cookies he baked. Ladies and gentlemen, I do not know how I'm going to contain myself because this is for me! Doc. And his opponent, from the state of California, he is six foot ten inches tall, weighing in at a whopping 500 pounds! He is your domestic heavyweight champion! Bad news! Spectacle in professional wrestling, Bad News Blakesley up against the anomaly. Gorilla Monsoon coined the phrase, it's irresistible force meets a movable object, and it could not be personified more in these two men in the ring. And what a main event for the Golden One Center, the debut of independent wrestling at the Golden One. This could not be bigger. Huge indeed. I mean, you look at all the clubs in the stands sitting out here on the arena floor. It's a packed house. It is a packed house. We've been running this show all day, folks, in and out. Uh, a sold out show, actually. We've been running from noon. But now we've got this main event. Blakesley, the title, oh God, the stalemate. And bad news, he doesn't come up against folks that are bigger than him. No. He doesn't come up against folks that are stronger than him very often. Not a lot of people on the independent circuit, not a lot of people in PCW to match his size and strength. No, no, not at all. And, and he is hyped for this match. Normally he's very quiet, very focused, you know, but... Tonight, he's, he's just got, he just, there's something different about him. He's, he's psyched to be at the Golden One Center. He's psyched to be defending this title against probably his biggest opponent and biggest test to date, Alex Ace. Well, yeah, it, we gotta remember, there's a little bit of beef between these two. Right. They were they were supposed to team up after Bad News betrayed his, his friends and most wanted. Let's call it what it is. It was a betrayal. He was supposed to team up with Alex Ace and take on Most Wanted, and Ace left him high and dry because Ace had a visa issue. Well, and I, ba Bad News vowed revenge. Yeah, yeah. I remember that happened a little bit different, but yeah, you're, you're pretty much right on the spot. And some just knife and chops, just overhand slaps. Double overhead slap, and not affecting Blakesley at all. Try to reverse it, it's just one after the other. These two are just reversing each other's moves. Not strong enough to pull Bad News out of the corner, though. No, no. I don't care how big you are, that's, that's a big whip. And you see, just reverses it. And he might, oh! Alex Ace, his ribs might be jello. That, that's 500 pounds just oh. smashing into you. And over the top, Ace lands on his feet. And no one was able to do that very thing to Alex Ace earlier tonight in that battle royal. Just shows the power of Blakesley. And Ace is having to, having to re-strategize. As foreign as matches like this are to Bad News, they're just as foreign to Alex Ace. Right. And 
Jimmy Mack trying to hold Blakesley back, <laughs> staying stay in the ring. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> You gotta hand it to Jimmy Mack, man. He's trying. <laughs> he's trying. He's, he's crazy. He's brave. Maybe a little uh, of both. There, there we go. Chasing him around, but Alex Ace maybe outsmarting the the champion. Well, he, he said it in his interview. He's smarter. He's stronger. He's faster than Bad News, or at least he thinks he is. This is his chance to prove it. Yeah. And Alex Ace is just throwing that size. God, I don't even know. That, that huge boot across the face of Blakesley, across the throat of Blakesley. He just punted it right in the face. Nothing pretty about that. Ooh, nothing pretty about that big chop either. You can hear that across this arena. Big, big forearm. Another big forearm. But almost like they don't even affect the big man, Alex Ace. That just is, shrugs it off. He's got to take a breather in the corner. Ace might, Ace might win him. Now, you got to think, like, who do you think has the better conditioning? You know, Blakesley, he's a big man. A big, big man. He's got to carry a lot more weight around than Alex Ace. And Alex he, Ace, he, he looks the best he's ever looked. He does. He, you got to think when it comes to cardio that Alex Ace is, is going to outdo bad news. You, you just, just by looking at him, Oof. you got to think that bad news is using a lot of strength a lot of energy just to keep his frame moving around. That's right. If Alex Ace tires down, bad news. If he makes this match go longer, it definitely favors Alex Ace. Definitely. you, you got to think, Blakesley's not used to being on the ground too much. He usually makes quick work against his opponents, and he can't do that against Alex Ace. You, you may even say, oh, look at this. Look at this. Big time jumps in these contests. You might even say that Bad News is the underdog in this match, which is, it, it seems those, those two phrases are antithetical and mutually exclusive. Right, right. But you're right. I, you got to think the longer this match goes, the more it favors Alex Ace. But there you go. Bad News Blakesley just rolled out of ring, just thrown his head against the chest cavity of Alex Ace. You gotta figure his head alone weighs 40 pounds. Oh. There you go. Just not the same amount of speed. Oh my goodness. Just a big boot to the side of the face of Blakesley brings him down to his knees. Alex Ace really wearing down Bad News. A clear rope and dope strike. Cool. The height of that leg drop. Bad News just barely kicked out. Usually he does it with authority, but he just oh. kind of rolled out there. Careful, Jimmy Mack. That's a terrifying sight. Blake's ball, oh, just a big elbow to the face of Alex Ace. Caught him unawares, and Alex took the hardest part of Bad News' body in the head. And a big stiff shot to the back. But almost again, like it doesn't even affect Alex Ace. This this man is on another level. He's just How are you gonna how does anyone anyone stop either one of these guys? Very impressive the way Alex Ace is using those long legs to deliver kicks, shots to the head, working that thigh and bad news Blakesley over that left thigh. Making it hard for the big boy to get on his vertical base. And here we go. This could be it. One, two, but another, another kick weak out. kick out. I mean, let's call it what it is. Alex Ace is wearing down the big man. He is. He really is. Blakesley, I don't know. Like I, like I said earlier, he's not used to matches going this long. I, I think Alex Ace might pull this one out. What? It says to count him out. That doesn't make any sense to me. Why would you do that? That's not going to change the title. The title only chains hands on pinfall or submission. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't, maybe it's just a breather right now, but I don't, I don't agree with this. No, no, not at all. He's, he's giving Blakesley time to recover. I understand, he's probably tired as well. Oh, he's going out now. Breaks Jimmy, the count. Jimmy Mack restarting the count. Looks like it was just a breather, and Alex Hayes is gonna go work over Bad News, but Bad News had the breather too. Yeah, it gave, gave him too much time, oh! That ring, that ring post though. Threw his face right into it. Blakesley holding his nose. I, I think those ring posts actually have a couple of dents in them from Bad News' head. He, he hit it at last man standing pretty hard. It wouldn't surprise me. Not at all. And Alex Ace somehow was able to roll Bad News into the ring. And now he's back into the ring himself. This has become a war of attrition between these two big men. Alex Ace is just trying to deplete the energy reserves. Big splash, bouncing off the belly of Bad News. And, and each kick out gets weaker than the last. Exerti exerting that energy, Alex Ace, almost 300 pounds. He's kicking 300 pounds off of him. And Bad News, every time he gets up off the mat, he's having to lift up. 500 yep. pounds. Yes. Oh, and the straps are coming down. Alex Ace might be smelling the end of this one. Might be smelling that championship gold. Bad news, Blakesley has been a great champion, but oh, so too soon. Just a big forearm to the face. Across the bridge of their nose, Alex Ace. Little bit left in the tank of bad news, but it doesn't seem like there's all that much. Oh, both of them. And Just both men knocked line. to their knees. Hit each other with a big line. There wasn't much behind either one of those, but you gotta think those those arms are like tree trunks. What? Even a winding river can create the Grand Canyon Ooh. through erosion, and uh, I think that's what we're seeing here. Both of these men eroding each other to the point of nothingness. Alex Ace calling for, going for that big, big boot. Bad news, going for his move. Looks like going for a slam of some type. Some reversals here. Oh. Big, big flush, running big boot right to the face of the champion. This could be it. One, two, but no. Again, throwing 300 pounds off of his shoulder. Bad News Blakesley says no. I will not quit. I will not secede. You, you got to wonder at this point, what, what maneuver could Alex H use against Bad News Blakesley? That, that would take him out of the game? Would, would it be time to lock in a submission and, and try and just wear him down, go for a big, powerful move? What kind of strategy can Alex Ace employ? He's tried everything. Both of these guys, are just, they're just exhausted. Trying to move each other around, trying to move themselves around, getting hit by tree trunks. Folks, this is the action you can only see at PCW. Find out about all your favorite wrestlers on PCWNorCal.com. We even have you still on there, Shoot, We're on the Vanguard page. That's true, that's true. Folks who've come through our amazing company like Brian oh. Cage and oh! Hold on! Oh. oh my God! Exactly what Bad News Blakesley needed. He's calling for it. He feels those tacos in the air. Big, big ending. One, two, three. 500 pounds and some change. Blakesley has done it.
even even I was thinking that Alex Hayes was gonna walk away as the new champion. Oh, are we gonna see a confrontation? Another one? Oh, oh no! Oh look, they're friends. Oh, what a disgusting display. You love to see it. The sportsmanship in the main event. And these two, there might not be any bad blood anymore. This is a bad news for the rest of the roster. Yeah, because now bad news has his sights on the next competitor. The next time we're at one of these taco and margarita festivals, make sure you stay tuned to PCW on Facebook. Look for PCW Pro Wrestling. Find us on our webpage, pcwnorthhealth.com. You're watching us on YouTube, PCW Pro Wrestling. the main event here at the Golden One Center, the Taco and Margarita Festival. Bad news, Blakesley, you successfully defended your championship against the mountain yeah. of Alex Ace. Yeah. How do you feel, buddy? Uh, that was the greatest match of my life. Like I said, I don't get to go against very many people my size, but you really want to know what the story is right now? What's the story? The match is over. But the battle's just begun. I have 155 tacos waiting for me in my dressing room. And this championship is going to be nothing like... Boom! Oh, God! Boys, what the hell, man? Come on, get out of here! Are you kidding me? I need some help! Help! What happened? What happened? What happened? Come on, boys, boys whacked him in the face with some brass nuts! Oh my god, Blakesley, you can't talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Someone help! Come on! Yo, come on! Hey, 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 hey,